Welcome to Badger Claw. I can't believe you didn't go to San Francisco. I rather wish I had. You must next time abscond to the coast. I've never seen it before. No? There, you see her. That's her walking into the hotel. I'm certain of it. Who's the old man? I don't recognize him. He don't look local. Her daddy's man, I'm betting. Likely. That a problem, you think? No. I only speed things up. Make our payday come quicker. He'll get word back to daddy fast as a rifle shot. How you want to proceed? Let's give him a minute. Wait till she's settled. Feels comfortable. This way, Wilson. Step lively. You've come this far. It would be a shame to lose me now. Mm. Hardly the Chateau Maurice Paris. No, but it has charm, doesn't it? Yes, like that of a hollow tree. <laughs> this is my room here. Oh, Willie. It's quite comfortable. A bit cramped, is it not? Only physically. Why, I feel freer and more unimpeded here than I ever have. Well, it is no shock to me, but your mother... Yes, I'm certain she would have thoughts. Indeed. Wilson, I found a niche here. I belong here. The people here, I've, I've something to offer them, and they me. I've made friends. I had no doubt that you would. And the spaces, Wilson, open and free and pure. It will not be so for long, you know as well as anyone. And I've been witness to it. Few after me will have the chance. I shall never have it again. You must understand. I always have. Yes. Just as you understand that I have a job and a duty and an employer who pays me to do that job, an employer who has expectations and power. Wilson, do you remember when you came to fetch me from the baseball fields, when I, with my brothers, stood in tryout for the Amateur Boys League of Philadelphia? I do. You went one for three with a walk and a stolen base. And I finished the game. Freddy turned a double play to end it, I remember. Quite exciting. I was in the field when you arrived, and you let me remain, in the field, to finish the game. Hmm. How are you for money? I have plenty. Where do you keep it? Not in the bank, I know. I've made inquiries. No, I would have had to falsify my name. It's here. And I've buried more under a tree west of town. Oh. And I always have a few dollars on me just in case. Your own money? You know it is. I'm certain you checked. I'm quite certain Papa did, and Freddy as well. You realize, of course, that as I watched from the bleachers that day, that had you twisted an ankle, or blackened your eye on a bad hop, or worst of all, been discovered a girl, hmm. an Applegate no less, disporting herself amongst the boys, the riffraff, I would not be here today. I would have been sacked immediately. And yet, here you are. Hmm. And here you are. No lessons having been learned. On the contrary, I learned who How I... How much of this have you spent already? There's a ledger there. You should have brought more. Why didn't you? It is plenty, old man. You forget how cheap the living is out here. There's plenty for it to keep me until my time here is complete. Not in this suitcase there isn't. What do you mean? A few dollars and a pair of men's trousers? Your peasant costume, I suppose. What are you saying? There's bills and coins? I assure you I have... Lionel. Jesse. What's that? Oh, Wilson. What is it? Um. <clears throat> I mean only that this suitcase is the means by which I transported my money on my journey. I have it scattered about the room now in drawers and trunks with false bottoms and under the floorboard and, um, in the bedpan. In the bedpan? Well, uh, you know. I can't imagine. Listen, I have some business I must urgently attend to. I have friends who need me. I've promised to help them, and I must do so. Now? At this hour? Well, yes. It's urgent, you see. I've only just remembered. What about our dinner plans? Oh, yes. Um, I'll have something sent to your room. I'll tell the clerk. Where are you going? My friends are in need. My friends. All right. I'll go with you. Oh, no, that's not necessary. Ha! Huh. It certainly is. No, Wilson, you'll only slow me down. 
How dare you, madam? Wilson. I am perfectly capable. Wilson, it's a private matter. Why, I think I've proven my... No, Wilson. I may not be as spry as I once was, but your father trusted me. No, it's not Could that I Could have sent anyone, and he sent me in for good reason. I'm sorry, Wilson. I didn't mean it that way. It's simply a matter to which I myself must attend to, without encumbrance. Encumbrance? Wilson. I'll have you know, young lady. You see anything? Lamplight's still on. I can see shadows in the window, that's all. Mm-hmm. It won't be long before they turn in. Rich folk don't stay up late. They like their sleep too much. You sure you can fool her? If she's as empty noggin as her two friends, then it should be no trouble at all. If something goes wrong, we'll do it the hard way. All right. I'll be ready. I'll wait in the shadows there. Just get her close enough and keep her quiet. You got it. Ready? Ready. Let's go. Deo Vendice. Is this your custom here? Do you often run out into the night at this hour? No, but this is urgent. Of what sort? I have a friend who has mm, gone astray, and I must retrieve him. Two friends, actually. A task to be done in the daylight, I'm sure. Wherever your friends have gone, whatever pitfall has bedeviled them... Surely setting out after them at this hour would only risk your own ensnarement. Better to wait until morning. If by then they have fallen into the muck and soiled themselves, consider yourself fortunate not to have done the same in their pursuit. Perhaps the stink upon them will shame them enough to search for their own safety, guided by the clear light of the morning sun. Little could you do for them now. Well... What the blazes was that? A pebble cast upon the window pane. Rich girl. Who's there? It's me, your dumb friend, Lionel. Lionel? Yeah, that's That's him. That's the very friend of whom we speak. Well, there you are. Crisis averted. What are you doing, Lionel? What have you done? Wait, don't answer that. I'll come down. I wish to speak with you. Meet me by the livery. By the livery. Very well. I'll be right down. Prepare to be scolded. Wait here, Wilson. I'll return directly. Or better yet, go to your own room, and I'll see you in the morning. I will not. I will accompany you. You mustn't. I must. Wilson, I will take the stairs three at a time and can outrun you. You'll fall if you try to follow, and that would only embarrass us all. Just wait here and I'll be right back. How dare you? I've traveled across the whole of this continent to track you down. I'm sorry, Wilson. I've ridden trains. I have to go. I've been in coaches. I've walked and ridden horseback. How dare you speak to me? Lionel? Over here. Lionel, what on earth are you... Who are you? I'll be your escort this evening. (gasps) Crikey! Not so bad, slumog. You're coming with us. Don't make this harder than it needs to be. No! Grab her! Grab her! Got her! Let go of me! You're coming with us, rich girl. Let me go! You belong to the whole gang now. Get your hands off me!